discover le verbe aller. So the verb aller, aller means to go. So it's really useful because, well, we tend to use it like that. So for the main to go reason uh, quite often. And we use it as also like in many languages uh, for what we call the future proche, so the near future. I am going to, and then you put a verb at the infinitive. Uh, so it is, it is quite, quite used, especially in the oral language. We tend to maybe use it a little bit more than the, the real future. Okay, so let's see how you conjugate this aller verb. The first form is je vais. Okay, so remember final s not pronounced here. Je vais. Okay, when you combine this a e, you get the sound a really open. Okay, je vais. D'accord. Tu vas. Final s doesn't exist. Tu va tu va okay then we've got this il so remember il uh, it's for the, the the masculine form so he okay and then l she okay and then you get the va form basically you pronounce it like for the tu because you don't pronounce the final s okay il va elle va okay je vais Tu vas, il va, elle va. Then, nous, so we, plural form, nous allons, okay, and if you, so final S not pronounced, and then if you are purist, and I'm sure you are, you want to make this beautiful and little liaison, so this little link between the words, so it does mean that you will have to pronounce this z. Uh, sound, okay, listen to me, nous allons, nous allons, okay, nous allons, that's it, same thing here, we'll have this little link between the two, vous allez, vous allez, and the last one, so remember, here you get this S just to make the difference between the singular and the plural because when you put the plural form normally you tend to add S at the end of the words, okay, like here, but then you don't pronounce it, so ils vont, final T, not pronounced, ils vont, and then feminine form, elles vont. All right, let's see everything again. Je vais. Tu vas, il va, elle va, nous allons, vous allez, ils vont, elles vont. All right? And then, just a few examples, just to show you how uh, useful this uh, aller verb can be because we tend to use this uh, aller verb when you want to ask uh, if someone is uh, doing fine, okay? Uh, so the first question, how do you do in French is comment, so how, comment, allez-vous? And then, same thing here, little link between the two. Comment allez-vous? Comment allez-vous? All right? So I've been putting this vous form here for the first example just to show you that if you meet someone for the first time then it's well it's better to use this vous so here the vous form so because it's the polite form okay comment allez-vous okay it's a question so raise a little bit your voice at the end like comment allez-vous okay you see comment allez-vous all right so answer when you want to say i'm doing fine okay je vais Bien, and then you say merci, thank you. Je vais bien, merci. So now, if you know the person, okay, you get two options. I mean, normally that's the most used one. The first one would be comment vas-tu? Okay, so in that case, you just switch and you change this you, so polite form, and you change it with this tu form, comment vas-tu? Okay. Well, answer can be the same, you know. Je vais bien, merci. Okay. And the other one, comment ça va? 
okay it, it it would be like impersonal form okay so you're not really addressing uh, directly to the person uh, how is it going could be translated uh, could be translated like that in, in in english okay comment ça va okay you raise a little bit at the end comment ça va and then same thing you can answer with ça va merci okay so let's read them comment allez-vous je vais bien merci comment vas-tu je vais bien merci comment ça va ça va merci